guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe, if you are new here, and today's video is gonna be a get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing a beginner's glam makeup look, something that's gonna be easy, something that's gonna be beginner friendly, and something that's still gonna be nice and pretty, and um, you could wear to an event, or you could wear it to work, something that's just gonna work for everybody. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel before you leave, join our little family, help us grow. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Those will all be linked down in the description below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and if you want to see what makeup look I come up with today then just keep watching. So I didn't want to have camera this is what we're going to do it's very simple it's just two shadows but it's still very pretty and very flattering so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this eye. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eye with some concealer and this is just going to help your shadow stick it's not going to crease it's going to make your shadow last longer. So this is a step that you don't want to skip. Now you can use any concealer for this or eyeshadow base that you want. So once it's kind of just spread out, I'm just going to blend it with a damp sponge. All right, so now that that's blended out, I'm not going to set it or anything. I'm going to kind of try to continue to look down so that my eye doesn't crease because I have hooded lids. So I'm going to try to prevent my lid from creasing. So what I'm going to do for this eye look is I'm going to take my bronzer and I'm going to be using the Coco Contour kit and I'm going to take this shade right here. So whatever bronzer you decide you're going to use on your face is going to be the bronzer that you're going to put on your eye. So what I'm going to do is kind of pack this on the outer corner and I'm not doing anything special, just pushing the bronzer in right here. This look is going to be kind of rounded as well so you don't have to worry about angles or anything like that or like having like a precise line nothing like it's gonna be very very easy so once I have the shadow packed on like that when it is full enough for my liking I'm going to start blending it all I'm gonna do is do little circular motions to kind of blow it out and blend it so it's not so harsh again I'm not being like super duper precise caring about what it's looking like because the more you blend it the more it's going to look natural so once I'm happy with how blended it is out here I'm gonna dip back into the bronzer tap off my brush and I'm gonna start to drag it inward So I'm just doing these sweeping motions toward the inner crease of my eye, like towards the inner corner, and then I'm just going to go back and forth to blend this. No circular motions or anything, just like windshield wiper quick motions. Because this is a bronzer and not a shadow, it's not super pigmented and it's not super hard to blend. So it makes doing this shadow look a lot easier. So I'm not going to take this all the way into this part of my eye. I'm going to kind of stop right here, like two thirds of the way in, because I'm going to use the shimmer shade to kind of open up the eyes and make them look a lot bigger and more dough-like, I guess. All right, so I'm pretty much done with that bronzer for right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab my Almar Cosmetics palette. This is the first Almar Cosmetics palette. I'm going to take La Costa right here. Um, it's just a really pretty sham shimmery champagne color. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pat this on all over the lid. Everywhere we didn't put the bronzer. I am going to kind of drag it into the bronzer just to kind of blend it into the bronzer. Um, I am going to go back into the bronzer and I'm going to take the shade again and I'm going to blend the shimmer into the bronzer on the outer corner. Very lightly, I don't want it to be overpowering, I just want it a little blended. Alright, so that is it. I'm going to go ahead and get started on my face now. Um, and show you guys the steps I take on my face and then we'll come back to the eyes in a little bit What I'm going to do is take the Mario Badescu rose water facial spray. and I'm going to hydrate my face really quickly Now <laughs> this is in my urban decay bottle because I like the way this sprays But it is the Mario Badescu spray. I promise but I'm just gonna spritz my face and hydrate myself really quickly 
All right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is take the um, Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. This came in BoxyCharm last month, so if you are subscribed to BoxyCharm, then you got this primer. Um, I'm gonna take this and massage it in to my entire face. This is a pore filling primer, but it is very hydrating at the same time, and I really, really like it. it makes your skin feel very, very silky. Okay, and now that this is all massaged in, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I love, love, love this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna be using a brush to apply it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start packing this on and using pouncing motions rather than sweeping or circular motions to get the most coverage that I can. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and go in with my concealer. I'm just going to put this in the high points of my face. And I'm gonna be taking a damp beauty sponge to blend this out. This is the Real Technique sponge. I'm going to take my setting powder and I'm going to set my face with this. I'm using the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. It looks like this. It's just a translucent setting powder, but it's very finely milled and very soft and doesn't cause flashback or anything like that. So I really love this um, setting powder. So what I'm going to do is just tap out underneath my eyes really quickly to make sure there's no creasing. And I continue to look up and then I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. All right, and then while my under eyes bake, I'm going to set the rest of my face. I'm gonna kind of take this bigger part of my sponge. I'm gonna dip it in, kind of put the, the rest just on my hand like this. And then I'm going to start pushing this in to the skin and melting it in. I don't wanna bake my entire face because it'll make my makeup look cakey. So I'm just going in with a very small amount. All right, so now I'm gonna wipe all of the excess powder away under my eyes, on my face, everything. I'm just gonna kind of wipe it away. And then I'm going to spray my face again with some setting spray. Help all of those powders just sink in. So I'm gonna finish up the eyes. I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Number no. 7 brush. I'm going to take the bronzer, and only the bronzer, um, and I'm just gonna run this underneath my lower lash line. And I'm gonna kinda connect it out on the outer corner to the shadow um, in the outer corner of my lid. Okay, so for the next thing on my eyes, I'm going to tight line my upper lash line with a black liner. It's just gonna help your lashes look a lot thicker. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with a nude liner. And then I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes first. Now I'm gonna be going in with two different mascaras. You do not have to do this. I'm only doing this because I have very, very short and sparse lashes, so it takes a lot for my lashes to look nice. I'm gonna be using the Wonder Beauty Unlashed Mascara. It's a volume and curl mascara, but I don't think it adds a lot of volume, but it does add a lot of length. And then I'm gonna use the Voluminous Slash Paradise from L'Oreal. And then I'm gonna go in with two coats of this mascara and then one final coat of this mascara. All right, and just like that, the eyes are completely done. Very simple, very easy, very pretty and fresh as well. 
So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my face. I'm going to use the same contour kit, the Coco Contour Kit from Too Faced, and I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my skin. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Number no. 1 brush to apply my bronzer. Now I would normally um, contour, but since this is a beginner makeup look, I don't want to contour because it can become overwhelming and you can go wrong really fast. So I'm going to skip that and I'm, all I'm gonna do is just bronze up my skin and just kind of make my skin look a little bit more warm, have a little bit more life. Also, I really love this brush for bronzing because it's very fluffy but flimsy. So it just really just gives you a wash of color. And I'm also going to put this under my jaw because I have a double chin and not a very strong jawline, so. Next, we're gonna go in with our blush. I'm going to be using the Milani Luminoso blush. This is such a great drugstore blush. It's just truly, 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 is beautiful on the skin. I'm gonna just go ahead and apply this on my cheeks and because my face is round, if your face isn't round, then you could smile and add this to the apples of your cheeks like right here. Um, but because my face is more round, I like to focus my blush back here towards the back of the cheek. And don't be afraid, honestly, to put on a decent amount of blush because blush is the first thing to fade in your makeup. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. I will be using the Amrezy highlighter like I said earlier. This is what it looks like. It's just like a white gold kind of shade. And I'm just going to apply this on the high points of my cheeks. If you never know where to add your highlighter at, just kind of move your face around and wherever you see a little bit of shininess where light is hitting, that's where you add your highlighter. Just a little trick for you guys. Also gonna add it to my cupid's bow up here, on my chin, and right in between my brows. I'm just gonna put a little dot right here. Instead of contouring my entire nose, I'm just gonna highlight it. Still gonna add the effect of contouring it, kind of. It's still gonna draw attention and make your nose look a little bit more straight and a little bit more flattering. Um, but if you don't like highlighting your nose, you can definitely skip this part. All right, and then I'm going to spray my face again. Again. All right, and then I'm gonna add my Lippy. I'm going to be using this combo right here. This is the lip liner from Bodyography and Timber. And then the Maybelline lipstick in Truffle Tease 930. Okay, I'm also going to go in with a gloss. I'm going to use the original um, Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. You got right here. So that is it for this video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed learning how I got this makeup look. That's great for beginners but still very pretty, very fresh, very glam. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!